Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I uh, posted a chart here of uh, uh, Jim Bartolioni. Uh, he's on uh, stock charts quite a bit and also all-star charts with uh, J.C. Uh, Parrots. And uh, Jim's going to be our guest next week. Uh, he was the one that told us about a month ago, you know, about the 382 pattern in the ABCD structure uh, in the uh, regional banks. And, of course, they uh, had a huge break and some of them have broken and will never come back but that's what we're watching right here folks what happened during the break here was i did get the phone call from uh steve's doctor and steve had come out of the coma and he was talking to me and so i got to talk to him again and i had to remember what happened to me about 15 years ago my very dear friend bob gamillion who ran Wilshire Coin and was part of the people that uh, was one of the four coin dealers that were working with the uh, Laverne Redfield collection back in 76 when I was at Drexel. And Bob was on life support and the family could not turn off the machine. So I drove over to uh, uh, Beverly Hills to turn off the machine and I got into the room and the family changed their mind. And, uh, and so I said, okay. I said, whenever you want me to do it. And so two weeks later, Bob came out of the coma, and he was never the same, but he was still able to function for another 10 years. Uh, passed away happily, but, you know, his mental facilities were probably at 60% at best. But the, the most amazing thing, folks, believe it or not, when they told him that I came over to pull the plug and we had made an agreement together that we would do it for each other. He didn't speak to me for a month and we spoke every day and we finally made amends to it and stuff. But uh, uh, that reminds me of some of these things that are happening. Let's get back to the markets because that's what's uh, what's very important. We got a, a caller talking to us about, believe it or not, Platinum. We haven't seen a platinum chart since Hector was a pup. And let me get it up here so we can take a quick look at it. And I see it here. Where is it? Platinum, platinum. Where art thou? Here it is, right here. Here's platinum. And he is saying we were talking about the old 382 here today. And you'll see in platinum, look what happened. I want to bring it up. You'll be able to see it. Look at that beautiful 382 that stopped right there on the money, and then bada-bing, bada-boom, you went right up here. Well, when a 382 happens, folks, we know that that's part of the structure that we love so dearly, and that's A, B equals C, D. The only bad part about this chart is it comes from Boston Dan, and I happen to be a big Boston Celtic fan, and Dan, I was flat-out upset. I kept looking for Larry Bird in the stands, but he wasn't there. They just played terribly, but Philadelphia played so good that they deserve to be the big winner here. But getting back to the chart, you can see the 382 led to the ABCD up to the top, and now it's backed off a little bit. This is the same pattern that we were looking at in the gold, and I'll bring that up again because it was another one that was uh, uh, pretty much as uh, spot on as uh, you can possibly uh, – as you can possibly ask it, I'll, I'll bring it up here because we happened to be be short right before the break. It hit our price objective, and then of course went up. I didn't get the I didn't sell it there because I was busy doing other things and stock indices and currencies. But you see, we went right up to the three eight the sixty one percent retracement of this high right here. But the important thing is that's seventy eight percent of that high. But the high up here is the real high that you have to take. Remember that when we got up there to that 2084, you have to take that too because that's the real high. That's the high of the market. This is a secondary high. That leads to this A, B, C, D that comes down here at the 78% level. And then we had the short right here. There was our profit objective right here at the 382. And then you run the 35 bucks straight up to the uh, state level here, and now we've come down uh, moving lower. So it's, we're getting more and more information now 
that the gold and silver may have topped. Now, this could be related to the U.S. dollar or not, because remember, the U.S. dollar is a currency that's not backed by anything. It says, for the full faith in government of the United States. Well, <laughs> try to take that to the bank if they don't want to take it in Mexico. You know that they don't even like to take dollar bills and paper money in Mexico anymore. That used to be a premium and not anymore. Nope, they use their telephones and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's very, very, uh, it's a little scary, actually, when you when you look at it that way. So let's take a look at silver. Since we're talking about the, uh, get this up here to take a quick look at it. Then we'll get to the stock indices a little better here, a little bit, because it's really important today, day to day, folks, when you hit these numbers so perfectly and then the market reacts. The good part is if it comes back and, and closes really strong, that tells us this was a major bottom and we're probably going to be looking at higher prices. So, We've only got a couple hours to go. We're still down. I think, uh, what did I saw? There were three of the uh, uh, the, the CAX indices. Yeah, there three of the four are still down. But we'll see whether that's going to mean anything or not. Anyway, as you see here, this was the 78% level here in the silver. We've been waiting for that for quite some time. You'll notice that that was the perfect ABCD right up there. That's uh, 2620. I I really believe, and I mean in my heart, and I believe me, I've been bullish silver since I since I've been in this business. I think that someday we're gonna once we clear fifty five dollars an ounce, half a you know that's that's a hundred percent move from where it is right now. You'll see silver. Hopefully, that's on my bucket list. Somewhere between seventy five and a hundred dollars an ounce. That'll put gold somewhere around thirty five hundred. Because if uh, this paper money stuff keeps going on, there's <laughs> I know the blockchains are supposed to be interesting and stuff, but boy, when push comes to shove and real money is where it's supposed to be, then that's uh, that's what you have to pay uh, close attention to. The one thing uh, that you do want to remember, folks, is that uh, these governments can play games. You saw what Mr. Nixon did. I'll do. I, I don't want to go through the whole thing, but in, in on the 15th of August, very important day in my life because that was the day that. Uh, in 19, it's in 2007, 2015, Tom O'Brien asked if I would take over the commodity show, and I said sure. So I've been doing it for over 3,900 shows now over these past uh, 17 years, enjoying them quite a bit. Sometimes I've had some pretty ones that sort of smelled up the pot, but by golly, that's the, the way the name of the game is. Let's take a look at what's happening to some of these things across the pond, give everybody a free trip. And here is the uh, German DAX. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we'll put, put it up here so you'll be able to see it really clearly here. This comes from our good friend over in uh, the UK, Alan Smith. And you'll see there is a beautiful three one three five pattern. Just absolutely fit, fit out, just, just as nice as can be, and it should be heading down into this area uh, right there. Now, what we'll do now is we will go to a um, – a um, that, that was a 60-minute on the DAX, and now we're going to look at the 60-minute uh, on the FTSE, and then we're going to pay a few bills, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors
TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, for kicks and giggles, let's put on our trading shoes. The time is ripe. The price is ripe. We got to take a look at the guess what? The E mini SP. And you're going to get up here in just a moment and then down the stretch they come. Here it is, folks. There's your 382. There was your first 382 right here. There's your second 382 right here at 4135. Your risk has got to be above here, but look at this beautiful A, B, C, D to the downside, 3, A, 2 rally, and then a perfect A, B, C, D coming in right here, and that's where we are coming up right now. So I think that that's what we're looking at. Um, it's a pretty quick one, but that's the way they are sometimes. So that's a 382 off of the high. It'll either work or it won't. The risk on it is about 10 points. Profit objective would be at least 20. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. The only one that has not worked today has been our little piggies. And I want to get to that to show you what happened because, oh, the natural gas didn't work either. But the pig trade we just get this up here because I know most people and they're not trading hogs, even though they're traded quite a bit by the funds. But let's get this up here in the pigs here. And uh, we'll see. See, we had the first 382 retracement. It rallied about 400 bucks. And it, it did come down and hit this level here. It, it hit this level right here, which is no longer a 382. You see, this was the 382 that worked. And then so the next 382 would have been up in here somewhere, but it didn't. What did it do? It came down to this level, which is 50%. I didn't want to risk anything on that. So I had my stop at break even, and I would be able to say to the priest, thank you for the confessional and move on, and I'll see you in a few weeks. But that's what I would do. I forget about it. As soon as you, as soon as you have a losing trade, forget about it that's what you have to do baseball players when they have a three strikes do you think that they're thinking about the two strikes that they just had no they're thinking about what to do next and that's what you have to do in trading you got to forget what happened in the past folks that the past is bs that doesn't mean anything it's no good at all you know that's uh that's the main thing uh let's just cover a couple i think i've already covered the bonds 
and I did the S&P, and I did the Dow. I did those. I'm sure we've got those all covered. Uh, the Euro, I need more time here on the Euro because um, – this is a really important pattern because it's the most actively traded thing in the world. Uh, and I mean world because it trades about a trillion bucks a day. You'll see we had a beautiful ABD, AC, shucks, an ABCD set up right down here. Now, we made a slightly lower low over the previous day here on the 9th. Okay, we took this out by a couple of pips. And then we rallied up to our next sell point right here. Well, this was during the report. And what I did is I... Just personally, I, I didn't want to give anything back, and so I put a stop right in here. And then when it got back up to the 382 again, I went ahead and resold it again. It made a little bit, but you know we're still short from this from way back here. That's a that's a big ABCD over the last five days. You know, with virtually no risk of around 300 bucks, you made five times your almost five times your money on that. And that's what the floor trader handbook proves to you if you listen to that video long enough that these ABCDs they work do they work all the time nope but nothing else does either so let's remind ourselves of that now let's take a quick look at the natural gas because this is another one that did not work and I want to get this up here because you got to show the good and you got to show the bad and we'll get it up here and you'll be able to see it there was your buy here if you see four or five days ago uh, we have the nice rally up here was the the positive thing if you remember uh, mike moore uh, said there was a real positive outlook for the first few days of the week here in the uh, uh, cr uh crude oil gasoline and uh natural gas not natural gas crude oil gasoline and heating oil all of them were positive and so they were a buy on Sunday night, and we went through those series of 382s, and they were just uh, – they were, they were really impressive. Even if you don't believe in Fibonacci and looked at it, you'd have to say, well, that's not – I mean, that's not by accident. I mean, these were so to the point, folks. I'm talking about one or two ticks to the exact number of something that, you know, trades for – like crude oil trades $71,000 for a contract. I mean, the, these numbers work. You know, do they work all the time? Nope, but they work most of the time, and there it is. So this is what we've had happen now. So what my game plan is here, you probably you probably have an A, B, C, D pattern forming here uh, in the natural gas, and it probably got down to maybe the 50%. So what I'm going to do here is when we get back from the break, I'm going to update the natural gas one, and then I'm going to update the hog one so you can see what happened when these patterns fail because when they fail that's just as important as when they work because pattern recognition tells you one thing that you have the odds in your favor because they repeat over and over again and they do it in a way that is very very sensitive to these patterns of ABCD which is nothing more than Mandelbrot's fractals Gartley's fractals and also these algorithmic boys. If you don't think these algorithmic boys know these numbers, uh, you better think again because those those fellas, uh, they're on top of their game. I wanted to uh, re-enter, uh, talk a little bit more about these treasury bonds because uh, this was a big thing that's going on right now with this debt because there is a possibility that maybe they won't do anything that the I'm not going to say anything about the government. There's your three drive to a top pattern. This goes back to the last 10 years. Up here is where they were telling us that, look, all you have to do is going to have negative interest rates, but it's going to be really good because we'll have no inflation, and we're going to hold your money for you, and we're going to charge you a fee for it, but we're not going to be able to guarantee that you're going to get your money back. So let's figure that one out by a little back-of-the-envelope math. The people that were putting this out, and one guy from the University of Pennsylvania, I forget the name, he's a Ph.D., Nobel Prize dude, said get ready for negative interest rates. And when I heard that, I said, maybe I'm seeing something wrong. But as you can see, the market is broken down with this big ABCD. There was your pattern, and we're waiting for a weekly 382 at their 138 to sell it. But that is, that is just absolute foolishness. It uh, it really is. I, I just never could figure that out. And I, I have some people that are really smart that told me, yes, it's going to happen because of the Treasury bonds and the Chinese buying and the Japanese buying and all the other stuff. And I said, no, 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 no. 
I said, I don't have to figure that out too much to realize that that's not probably going to be uh, what's happening. So that's pretty much it. Now, here is the hog trade. I want to get this up here. We'll see it before the break, which is good. And then we'll have Paula T on the horn in just a little bit there. As you'll see, we went right down to our level there in the hogs. And I decided to take a... Uh, uh, what we call this, uh, you take a, take your sister to the dance, so you got to take her to the dance. The dance is over, and we go back and sit on the sidelines again, and we wait for another trade. So we're going to take a break here, and we'll be back with Paula T. Webb. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Paula T. Webb Douglas on the line. Paula, how are you today? Doing good, doing good. How about you? I'm still living the dream. Uh, Paula is going to give us a little exercise in what money really means. I'm, I'm going to give a little prelude first. Uh, when you guys moved here on August the 16th of 1996, uh, you know, Mark worked every day here with me in the office uh, for six years. And one of the things that I used to do is I had a $1,000 bill on my desk. We got them at the Federal Reserve, uh, Byron and I. We got a thousand dollar 
uh, we each got two each, and then we got a $500 bill. McKinley's on a 500, and Cleveland is on a thousand. So I had that thousand dollar bill there, and Mark says, "Why do you have that there?" I said, to "Remind me that it's it's real money that's being traded." And remember. Uh, 96 now you could get all the money flashing up on your screen how much you were making and the first thing that mark said was take that function off and he explained that uh why don't, well i'm going to take give you back the thunder because you, you know what the story is so why don't you tell them pt well i mean when 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 traders aren't connected to the very money they want to grow then that's when they consistently lose all right um, as as we've talked about before, you know, Mark stood on Michigan Avenue trying to give away free money, and people walked around him like he was nuts, and yes. because they didn't believe in free money, and traders don't believe in free money either. And since as traders, you know, we're, we're just basically just pointing and clicking a mouse, we're not actually quote working hard physically to make profit. So sometimes there's a conflict there. It's like, well, all I'm doing is pointing and clicking my mouse and I just made $1,000. Um, so there, there's that work ethic involved and you know, that, that, pays, that, that plays a part in, in how much we win or lose. And as I did, said earlier, take some money out of your wallet and look at it and really look at the money that you have earned. Look at the money that you are taking in profit and connect to it in, in a way where you haven't previously. Um, when you became a trader, you got into trading to make money, period. That's the only reason we got into trading, any of us, is to make money. And yet, when, when you don't look at your accounts, you don't look at your statements, then you're disconnected from the very money you want to grow. So you don't know your money, and so you can't grow your money. So you, you have to keep this in mind. You made a promise to yourself. I'm sure most of you traders out there made a promise to yourself, I'm going to make more money as a trader whether more money from your other career or just more money in general. How, how well have you followed through on that pro promise to yourself? Ask yourself that and be honest. And that's what my next book is about, making promises and promises lost and promises failed. And what does that mean as traders? You made a promise to make more money, whether it was just to yourself or to your family, and you're not fulfilling that promise. So you have to ask yourself why. And that's because you're not connected to your money. That's what it all goes back yeah. to. Trading is about money. I don't care what everybody else on the internet is telling you. It is about the money. That's it. So you gotta yeah. you gotta make that all right in your brain. You gotta align that in, in your thought processes that it's okay to make more money. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Do you remember, well, we said this on the other show before that uh, Robert St. John, when we traded on the floor of the Merck, he was he, he stood next to, to Tom uh, Tom Baldwin for what eight nine ten years, wasn't it? That they worked yeah, together. Yeah, long time, long time. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it was just really amazing. And tell the folks how much money he carried in his uh, in his in his money clip. It, it was, he had a rubber band, basically what it was. How much money did yeah, Robert yeah. use? A minimum of eight to ten grand. Yeah, every day in, in, in hundreds. Yeah, yes. money yeah. clip every day. Yeah. Every day, because you know why he was connected to every penny that he made as a trader. Once, once, once he worked with us. I mean, he was a boom and buster, and that's when he came to us to work with us. And once we got him back on track, he was so connected to his money. He loved money. He loved making money. He loved spending money. He loved sharing mm -hmm. his money. You know, he was a very generous man. He was a lovely person, um, yeah. and probably one of the best bond traders ever. And yeah. But he, he connected to his money because he wanted to grow his money. And he went from, like I said, having two mortgages on his house and ready to get divorced. Within one year of working with us, he was up, I think it was two to three million dollars with everything paid off. He was, mm -hmm. he was profitable, two to three million dollars because he was connected to what he wanted to grow and that was his money. I remember when he was in Bismo Beach, uh visiting us when you guys came out together he stayed but well, all of us were together for a week and he traded every day with us and rich anderson was there and he averaged a quarter of a million a day yeah so he made a million he made a million two for one week and we were only working two and three hours a day because mark only wanted him to trade 
the first hour of the day, which was the most important for him. And he worked basically an hour and a half to two hours. If he worked a full day, he'd give a, he'd give a hundred grand back. So he figured that out right away. He had to do something different, but he only worked an hour and a half to make that kind of money. But folks, he was trading large sizes. He would put on yes. 200 bonds and add 200 and add 200. It was not unusual for him to have 500 bonds on. And uh, so he was, uh, it was really quite special. So, Tell us about the book. When, you, when, will it be, when will it be out? Well, uh, I've got some workshops coming up this in the next couple months, a couple of my own, and then I'm, I've been invited to do a workshop in Charleston in August. So I don't think the book will be out till probably end of the summer, but um, it's going to be called The Sagacious Trader, and it's the new wave of trading psychology and how you need to approach your trading in today's world climate, um, mm -hmm. especially with... Uh, the presidential election coming up, which is always a pretty squirrely time for the markets. So um, mm -hmm. it, it should be really good. It's it's going to take this a little bit deeper and a little more, lots more stories that, that bring home the point of having the right mindset is really the way to go. Now, I got a stupid question. What, what does sagacious mean? It means thought provoking. Ah. There's where you get an Italian trying to make him think it'll never work. Hey, listen, thanks for joining <laughs> yeah, us. We'll have, we'll, we'll I can't have remember on. the name of the book, but you know maybe yeah, that'll I, help. I, so I, I know it's got a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, thanks for joining us, and we'll have you on again soon, okay? Yeah, anytime. Paula Webb, tell the folks how to give me your phone number, 760. Tell them that phone number, please. 760-636-4290, seven days a week, and paulatweb.com. Okay. Well, she's like me. We never stop working because we're never working. We're always playing. That's Thanks right. a lot, PT. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Soon. okay. See you soon. You bet. Okay. Let's get back to work here. We got to do a couple little things here. We got to trade on and let's just see what it's doing. We sold the S&P at uh, 41.35. It's got a four point loss in it. So let's just get the, oh, I'll get the chart up here. Just a second, because we want to follow it as we're looking. <clears throat> and there is where we sold it. Let's get it up here. Hold on one second, one second, one second, one second. Remember, we have a 10-point stop on this, boys and girls. There's where we sold it, right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at what it's doing right now. And that should be right behind it somewhere, I hope. And there it is. And as you can see, we are underwater a little bit but that is all part of trading and we'll get this up here and there we are right there now when we if we get above here we get above this level here we know that there's something probably wrong so we sold it here we're going to put our stop 10 points above that so let's just double check to make sure what that that is uh we sold it at 35 okay so our stop being being as wild as it is today we have to risk 20 points. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I didn't uh, run the AI uh, before I put the trade on, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I believe in the 3A2 no matter what. You can see the 3A2 on this one was just absolutely spot on, and I didn't know this. I didn't run this because I was too busy doing, uh, getting ready for the other show and doing some other things. But you come down and you make your A, B, C, D to the downside, and you make another A, B, C, D down to the next one, exactly 1.27 of that swing. And now it says we're going to be up the rest of the day. Now, we sold this at uh, 41.35. Put a stop at 41.45, folks. Only risk uh, 10 points because the odds are it might get above here by a little bit, but not too much. And with only an hour to go in the day, it's uh, it's frankly, it's 50-50. But you just never know. It's still down. So it can still move uh, a little bit lower uh, from that level so that's why i'm going to do it that way and believe me we we don't have we don't make money on all the trades we make money on some of the trades but again and we're going to be out of i just saw the beeper almost go off but it didn't but 41 45 would be there it is right now and just uh that one didn't work boys and girls um uh, you can call my law firm it's do we cheat him and how the number is five two zero five 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 and ask for luigi he's the head uh, legal expert there at the firm of do we cheat him and how so that's what i would have done so i'm glad to see this gives you another chance to to play the game uh, one more time and so that's important to me because uh, these lows and highs that we have are so perfect fibonacci wise that it really, really makes a really makes a big difference. Now let's take another look at one of them that was also uh, that was also uh, on the 382 that was uh, just absolutely uh, spot on today, and it's working uh, really, really nicely to the tune of uh, several several hundred bucks. Let me get this up here to uh, oh, first of all let me draw in the draw in the ratio because I know a lot of people will say that didn't happen. We'll get this up here, and it is basically the soybeans. Eventually, these soybeans are going to go up, but it might not be in my lifetime. So let's get it up here, and we will have it in post-haste, as they say, in the trade. And here it is right now. This was one that worked extremely well. We posted it as it was happening this morning because it was happening just when we were on the air. And there it was, right up at the 3A2, and now you can see it's uh, breaking down. If you did the work in the wheat, uh, wheat did exactly the same thing. Now, the wheat, we didn't quite get a chance to update it, but if you look at it closely, and I think you can, you'll be able to see the 3A2 up there at 644, 
and now we're trading about a nickel nickel under that. So we're, that's how we keep an eye on these grains and try to figure out you know where we are. This you know trading is simple, but it's not easy. Uh, Mark always said you know uh, simplicity beats complexity, and that's really what you want to try to do is to keep it that way. I don't know if you, uh, though some of you folks here, this is Tom O'Brien's show, but if you have never heard of um, the book by Tom Hugard, The Best Loser Wins, uh, it's basically he learns how to lose. That's because uh, just like a slot machine, it says on that slot machine in indelible link that you can't read is you. I have no chance of beating me long term, and I've taken in 1.2 million dollars more than I've given out. But if you can get behind that machine and learn how to play like that machine does, you're going to be better off because you got to be thinking how much money can you lose. So if it says three fifty three quarters, you put in three quarters or three dollars. Whatever your amount is that you want to risk, risk that. You may get lucky, you may not get lucky, but that's all you're going to risk because you have no chance of beating it. Our game is different because we have some tools that make it easy to, to see and see how it works. So anyway, that's that's what you got to do. you got to think like that. But anyway, if you don't have that, there's a paper that he wrote called The Best Loser Wins. It was a prelude to the book, and when the publisher saw that, uh, title the best loser wins they went crazy for it over there in the uk and it's become a bestseller they sold way over 50,000 copies on the first printing and uh boy that's uh that's really a really a big thing for a technical book uh in trading and it's become very very popular so you ought to get the book i think it's 45 bucks and it's worth it but if you want the paper it's a uh, three pages about you know losing and what it's about, and from that he expanded to to bring out this book that is uh, it's really quite spectacular. Just Larry at tradingtutor dot com, and I will paste it out there and fire it away so you'll be able to see it. So one more time, I want to bring up here. This is the thing that you want to pay close attention to because if we close above this number today, and if we close above this number today. And we hit some pretty important numbers on the downside. This is the Dow Jones. Remember, we hit this again last night, and we backed all the way. to dropped 500 points, folks. And look where we are now. We're coming back very, very strongly towards the last hour of the day. And should we close above here, and should we close above here, that means that we are going up and probably a lot higher than some people might think. Just stop and think of this in the context of the E-mini S&P and what it's done, okay? Remember, let's put this up here. We'll be able to get up here and see it in one second. And uh, there's where we go. Okay, there was the 786. We came all the way down here, okay, to this level right here. I didn't check to see if that was a 61% retracement or not. And I am going to do that right now. So give me a second here. And we will take a quick look at it and tell you whether it was or not. And let me move this around and put up a uh, 60 minutes so I can see it. Okay, now we're going to see where we are. Uh-oh, this is going to be interesting. Hold on, i got to clean it up just a tiny bit. And then we're going to go from the high, shut the front door, and raise the rent. Oh, misses it by a heartbeat. Let me get this up here so you folks can take a quick look at it. But it missed the fib point, the 61% retracement by four points. And that's what gave it that last boost because uh, it's still bullish as long as uh, they can get above that. And uh, let's just get it right here so you'll be able to see it. And uh, we'll get right up to it. And then when I get ready for the break here, I'm going to update it and show you where we were and that's where we were and where we've been since then will be coming up shortly. And that will be right here. There it is. And we'll get it up here and you'll be able to see we missed the 61% retracement on the way back by two points. So Mr. Fibonacci is alive and well here in Tucson, Arizona, as we go through looking at this stuff uh, right in here. I, know I don't do much advertising, but those of you that have trouble and you need personal mentoring, I still do that. I do one-on-one. -on -one. I take it very seriously. And if you have a question or anything, you just uh, Larry at Trading Tutor, 
com, and we can chat about it and uh it's uh it's a lot of fun and it's not that expensive hey let's take a break 877-927-6648 billy ray valentine capricorn If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, this next chart is the E-mini S&P four hour going back the last six weeks. Uh, actually, it's two months now, but you'll notice here that we hit the 382 level right here on the 26th of uh, April, and we also hit it again here just three days ago, and that is telling us that this is extremely strong support. This one was slightly lower than this one. It didn't break down. Today's high was at the 78% retracement of that level right here, and you see why you can't be really bearish in here, folks, because this is a really strong trend. And my goodness, uh, even today, the pullback off of that high stopped right there at the 61% retracement. Now, we start getting below that, then you got trouble in River City, but River City is still not ready. This thing is still very, very bullish. If you remember gold when it was 1818 before it went to 20. Uh, 70. Uh, that, uh, that's the same type of pattern that, uh, that you're looking at. So uh, don't get too bearish in here. 
But, you know, swing trading, sure, you can sell and buy against those numbers. But longer term, this is still extremely bullish. I don't I don't uh, I don't I, I tell people that. So I hope that they believe it now that Russell looks bad. The Nasdaq looks bad. The Dow Jones still looks as good as this one does. But but uh, the other two that Russell and the uh, Nasdaq still don't look quite that good. But that's neither here nor there. But. We've uh, we've got uh, the uh, Nasdaq has actually uh, moved up today, and I think that the uh, S and P is up now today. Only one down right now is the Dow Jones. So that's what we're paying attention to here, to here as we're seeing some of these things uh, unfold here uh, this morning. So I certainly hope that helps. And remember, uh, tomorrow we'll be back on the air with both shows. And hope we'll be able to bring you some good information, like always. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 